the Ark Society. One of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite. Billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You all right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. <sighs> your gift and your curse, what they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes, found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take... No. There is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb. Only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Sorry, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. 
It's a dangerous thing. Having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington. Two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah, rebirth. Interesting. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant phoenix shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the Fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does. I get it. What's new is that the master of ceremonies will likely have a deal with the fire with some Washington inside. Are they showing?
is where you can spend the ball. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay. Me? You're in the master now. I'm a Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I'm never going in the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plates. No. Spectacle. A lot of people hate it. They won't hate it, Mr. Fenniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Oh, good Lord, what have I done? How did I let it talk me into... This. Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? Everyone's waiting for you. God, no. No, she frightens me. Just, uh, just, just give me a moment to control the nerves. All right, Mr. Penninger. Regular. A handsome pledge, and yet, a drop in the ocean. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our Founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select, chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live, and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars, or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the Elite. 
Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud. Be fearless. For the future is ours to shape. Sir. Look at you, Fenniger. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns. Not just to survive, but to live. Here's something, 47. According to this email thread, Sophia Washington has recruited one of the architects in a plan to discredit the Constant. Sounds promising. Interesting. The poison chip in the Constant's neck was designed by a Kronstadt engineer, a Mr. Marek Sinclair, who also works for the Ark Society. Apparently, Sophia wants Sinclair to approach the Constant and offer to remove the chip. If the Constant takes the bait, Sophia can prove to the Providence partners that their top controller is not to be trusted. Hmm. Sounds promising. I suggest you head over to the conference space, see if you can't locate Mr. Sinclair.
47. Olivia is trying to locate Mr. Sinclair's cell number. See if we can't contact him directly. Stand by. There, we have Sinclair's number. Making the call now. Keep your eyes peeled, 47. That is Sophia Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite the resume. Nothing? Hmm. I'll keep on calling Sinclair until you have a visual. What about crop growth? Tundra's no good. Hydroponics, maybe? Zone. I park there every day. Are you sure you've got the right license plate? Uh, yeah, see, that's not mine. D -d Do I sound like a soccer mom to you? Get your back straight, ma'am. Good night. Huh? Jesus, who's breaking stuff? That's Sinclair, all right. And those are the blueprints for the poison chip. Should come in handy. Nice evening. I suppose. No robe. No mask. Which rank are you? Oh, I'm more of an outside observer, Mr. Name's Sinclair. I'm chief technical designer at Quanstad Industries. Rings a bell. I forgot to tell you before. A few of the more prominent art members were here. I think it might interest you. What's this? I think you know. The chip in your neck is my design. Which means I can override it for a price. Most interesting. Who is getting first pick? Meet me at the tower and be discreet. Well, we can't be seen together. Always I am. Agree. Carry on. Ma'am. Modern society being what it is, my guess is that any pending collapse will go. Oh, you sick of pitches yet? I'm dead there. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Please come in. Have a seat. It's lovely by the fireplace. May I see those blueprints again, please? Interesting. All right, Mr. Sinclair. I'm listening. Don't. In fact, Forget all I said. Excuse me? This wasn't my idea. Sophia Washington. She's the one who told me to approach you. It's all a trap. Go on. I never asked why. I just went along because she's the boss. And you're telling me this now? Why? Let's just say I don't like to get my hands dirty. I see. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Sinclair. 
You have been most helpful. Hang on for a moment. Sophia, I need to see you at the tower. I'm sure you are, and no, it can't. Nicely done, 47. This should put Sophia firmly in the doghouse. I am sorry you got dragged into this. Sophia is spectacularly ambitious. Unfortunately, like most people of her elk, she lacks humility and a sense of station. And who are you, exactly? A humble advisor. Nothing more. Power without responsibility. Nothing humble about that. Hmm. You have my interest, Mr. Sinclair. I think we'll speak again. For now, you will excuse me. Sophia and I need to... clear the air. All right, I'm here. Are you gonna tell me what's so damn important? Ah, Sophia. Hey, you! you know, Where do you think Sinclair? you're going? Oh, definitely not Leave through here. Da, ba, 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 ba. Get out of my it? face. <sighs> Go. I don't blame you for trying, Sophia. Just for failing. Upstairs. No. Not now. Someone help me! Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? In position. You did your part, 47. Now head for an exit. Leave the Constant to me. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. 
Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.